Okay, let's see. All right, let me put you on speakerphone. Okay, we're on speakerphone. Um, hold on, let me listen to what they're saying. at my door I'm taking pictures Yeah, he said, he told me, Gina, open up. I live in a fortress. They're not getting in unless they break down that door. And that door is blockaded with that board. Thank God both my cats are inside, too. My cats are fine. My cats are sleeping right here with me. My, my uh, they have not knocked in a couple minutes, but they're still outside. I cannot see them because I'm on the far side of the house, away from them, as far away from them as I can be, still on the same level. I'm, I'm 
my, near my bed, behind my sheer curtains, so they can't see me. But I can still, but I can still see them because the curtains are sheer, and I can see through them. Take off all my clothes. Why? naked with my bathrobe on. Well, if they come in, I'll take my bathrobe off, but I'm, I'm fucking chilly. I don't want to take it off right now. I had, I had thermal leggings on and a tank top on underneath my bathrobe. I just dropped those. No, they're, no. I know that the writ is that's right, I know the writ is illegal. They're acting unlawfully. They've been told they're acting unlawfully. They have no they have no authority to be here. Well you hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that on my phone. I'm gonna do that on my on my on my computer. You hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me see, hold on. I'm gonna call Sheriff for myself. Gina, open the door. Thank you Thank for you calling the Kennebec County, County Sheriff's Office. Office. If this if is, is an emergency, emergency please hang up yeah. and dial 911. Kennebec Sheriff's Office. Office. Yes, this is Gina calling from uh, Sydney, Maine. I have two police officers trespassing criminally on my yard, trying to remove me from my home in violation of a federal court order that said the eviction was removed from federal court and has now been held in federal court for a proper trial by jury. These gentlemen, I don't know what they're doing or why they're here. Your, your office has been amply notified over the last 48 hours that this is an illegal writ of possession. It was issued by a appellate court, which was improper, on a case that was removed to the federal court on April 27th. These people Ooh. need to leave. What agency what is there? there? Uh, Alan the Wood case. of the Civil Sheriff's Office and a, a s I'm on the phone with your call with your dispatch right now. Okay. I'm on the phone with your dispatch right now. Um, uh, Sheriff okay, okay. Kenyak yep, Sheriff yep. Patrol Car 607 and we've got Alan Wood here in his personal car. They're demanding that I leave my home. They're threatening me. They're terrorizing me. They have okay, no right to be here. Get out of my yard. Now. Out. You're on recording. Okay, You're being recorded. I have Alan Wood in my yard and I have another officer terrorizing me in violation of a federal court order that the eviction that they're trying to uh, enforce is has been removed to the federal court and I gave everybody notification of that through the email this weekend. I gave them the federal court order. Wait, I hold gave on a minute, ma'am. Hold on a minute. They need to leave my yard. Get out of my yard. Out. Yeah, you are. Please continue to hold for just a moment longer. We will be on the line shortly to answer your call. <coughs> Thank you for calling. Please be Hello. sure that your call will be answered as quickly as possible. What? Yeah, I just called his headline. Continue to hold for just a moment longer. Yeah. Huh? No, they sh No, they sure haven't.
uh, 2528 West River Road. They are peering into my house. I am naked with a bathrobe on. I had to put my bathrobe on because they started terrorizing me. I now have... I don't have a last name. It was formerly Turcotte, T-U-R-C-O-T-T-E. I changed it. Gina, G-I-N-A. Um, I'm calling from my home phone on my computer, which is 209-1767, and they are terrorizing me in violation of a federal court order. Um, it has the case that... I don't know. I, I know Alan Wood is out there, the civil sheriff, which I told him the, 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 uh, the writ was illegal. He ignored me. Um, and there's a sheriff patrol car, number 607. They're both banging on my windows and my doors. I gave, I, I sent 11 emails to, they need to leave my yard. They're terrorizing me. Yeah, they put me on hold. Huh? No, I will not open the door. I have no need. I have no. I have no lawful need or or requirement to open the door. They have been notified formally by myself through the email with formal court orders that the root of possession is void because the federal court has kept the eviction case in the federal court. That nullifies any writ. They need to leave. Um, the phone number that's best to call me on is 209-1767. I'm shaking right now. They're trying to force their way into my home. I'm 100 pounds soaking wet. There's two men outside my house terrorizing me in violation of a court order. I'm suing Lee Softly and all. I'm suing the Kennebec Sheriff's Department. I'm suing the City of Augusta for this behavior. And they're perpetuating it. They just gave me more evidence in, in, in support of my suit. They need to leave. Yes, ma'am. And Alan, Alan, Alan Wood, right now, I am recording him peering into my window. He needs to get off my yard. There are no trespassing signs. There are video surveillance signs. There are criminal trespassing signs. He needs to leave my yard right now. I'm shaking. They're terrorizing me. This is illegal. I have a civil rights case of violence. Okay? Thank you. They, they said, let me have someone get back in touch with you. The, the dispatch said, let me have someone get back in touch with you. So they're going to call me back on my house phone. Huh? I'm going to stay on the phone with you. Alan Wood is still peering in my window. Get off my yard. 
You have no authority to be here. This is a court order. You have no authority. This is a court order. This is a court order. Get off my yard. You're terrorizing me. No, I'm not opening the door. I have no legal need to open the door for you. This is my home. I paid for it. If you break my door down, you will have hell to pay. Huh? Say what? Well, it's all recorded. I just recorded everything that was just said, so. He, he doesn't care. He, he doesn't, he's ignoring the federal court order. He says, it doesn't make any difference to me. And he says, it means nothing to me. That court order means nothing to me. He says, I called the court this morning, and that writ is still in effect. And I'm like, yeah, the writ was issued by somebody who's being sued for issuing that writ. How can you enforce a writ by somebody who's being sued for issuing that writ? Are you fucking stupid? The writ is bogus because it's been removed to federal court and it was upheld. So these idiots need to learn how to, the law. If they're upholding it, they need to learn how to read it. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is wrong. It's very wrong. Well, they just doctored my request for appointment of a, um, what I wrote to them. Let me find my glasses if I can. I wrote to the court this morning. You have the opportunity. It's outside. Under the porch. It's outside. Another show another cop just showed up. It's outside, under the porch. There's a copy outside for you. Huh? Bring it here and I'll read it. There's a copy outside for you. Go look under the porch. Go look under the porch. There's a copy outside. Can't hear what you're saying. Well then you're fucking stupid. Go outside. I wrote petition for court from the standby attorney. Now comes to you pursuant to USC 36.3b, petition for court for one of the attorneys and ask the standby counsel to help me understand the case to the court. According to USC 361b, 36.3b says, upon application by a person alleging a discriminatory housing practice or a person against whom such practice is alleged, before we appoint an attorney to such a person. Gina's complaint evidence and recently filed affidavit part one are all alleging in support discriminatory housing practices by lawyers, government agents, local municipal officers, courts, police, real estate agents, representatives, landlords, as well as many other private keeper and foreign agents. The event on April 28, 2016 was a prime example of these soft and most chronic discriminatory actions against Gina and their attempt to put Gina back into the street and by the way, his proper removal of the fraudulent eviction case, court rules, the ADA, FHA, FHAA, and many other laws. Wherefore, Gina petitions this court for immediate appointment from the attorney to ask the standby counsel to help Gina present the case to this court. Let me read that again, Gina. So. Come here. Come here. Let me read it again. Go. Go. They'll break my door now. They're breaking my door down. 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 Look. Open you have. Door. Look at the court order under the. They have a fucking paper gun. Open the door. Open it. Look at the court order under the porch. Under the porch is a court order under the porch. Look at the court order under the porch. Open the door. 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 Open the
here to hurt you. You are. You just broke into my house. No, we're not going to hurt you. You just broke into my fucking house. Yes. Why? We have a court order. No, it's a fraudulent. Don't you read federal orders? No. There's a federal order under the court. Yes, there is. What is wrong with you people? What are you going to do? Are you going to arrest me now because I'm in my own house? Yeah, you're not willing to leave. Andrea! Andrea! You have to unlock it, dude! Dude, you have to unlock it before you can open it! What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you people? Listen to the uh, civil that we Yeah. There's a court order! The court order is it not is, in effect. It is, too! What it, is wrong with you? Federal court! No, the federal court has no jurisdiction. We've already checked. According to who? What about the... Look at the paperwork on the court. I don't care what the paperwork Why is. don't you care what federal court would yeah. say? Listen to me. Go. Oh my god. Listen I'll to me. leave. I'll leave. I promise I'll leave. Please don't arrest me. I leave. I have PTSD. You just re traumatized yeah. me. Gina, That's we're not here to hurt you. We don't want to scare you. We want to scare you. This is my home. I have no place to go. I'm here because the court put me under my home on Court Street. The Billings Court Park and home of the courthouse. I was on the street for 45 days. I am the one place no. to go. You need to relax, okay? We're not here to hurt you. That's the last thing we want to do. Please. Please pay the water. This is my home. I paid property taxes. I no, paid. No, you don't. I checked with the town office. You haven't paid any property taxes. I have a receipt. I paid the receipt. I have a check on my. Excuse me, I didn't pay receipt. Where did you check with the town? Listen, we're not just sitting here arguing. I sent the receipt. You guys are lying. And did you hear that? They said I didn't pay property taxes. Did you hear that? Please don't touch me. You have no right to touch me. I won't leave. He needs to back up. You, Alan, no. You need to back up. Back up. Is that some clothes, Gina? I was naked. Why do you think okay. I didn't open the door for you guys? So, uh, this is my home. Let's get some clothes on. If you're, you're going to leave. So. If you're going to leave, you What about my cats? What about my everything? What about, we'll what about the animal control No, it's mine. Those are my service animals. I'm a disabled woman. Oh. I have post-traumatic stress you disorder. You can take them with you. Do you have someone that can come pick you up? I'm all alone here. I'm here because the... Who's still phone is? A friend of mine. And that's why you pick you up? No. Why not? She's in Breslau without her own car. She's babysitting her grandbabies right now. I have another friend of yours. No, I don't. The okay. man I moved in here with died because of this house. I'm here all by myself. I have nobody except my caseworker. Seriously, I literally have nobody except my caseworker. And I won't see her until tomorrow after to move to so I have no place to go. Do phone number? I do, but you I can't. You want to call her then right now. Then we need to go into my other, into my computer room so I can call her on my computer phone because I'm not going to get off this phone. You have no right to be in my house right now. I called you and just got no, you do not. Let me call my caseworker and find a place for you to this go. This is going to be done in like five minutes, okay? You Alan, Alan, okay. Alan, or, or Alan, 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 go courtesy of us. Alan, I will go peacefully. I'm telling you right now let's on the go. record. Let's go. You're going to go peacefully. Let's go. That I need time to do that. Seven minutes. We're all set. I'm yeah. saying that I have a range of time to take. Where are you going to bring me? Where do you think you're going to bring me? And how long do you think it's going to take me to get away from that? We're going to take you to jail. That's what it's Why are you bringing me? No, I'm not. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not. Andrew, did you hear that? They're arresting me. No, I'm not. You yeah. refuse to leave. We're I'm not refusing you. to leave. All right, let's back the bag and get you out of here. Then so why are you taking me to jail let's, for us? We're not. Your caseworker. I need to call my caseworker on my phone. Please. This is not okay. This is not okay. And if you touch any thing in my house. Yeah, I don't want to touch anything. I'm telling you right now, you see everything is recording. Yeah. I am but terrified. We just want to make sure everyone's safe. That's David all. Brennan is an el Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Andrea, are you still there? Let me call my caseworker. Hold on. Do you guys see what you're doing to me? Do you see what you're doing to me? No, I need to stay in my home. Well, unfortunately, this is my home. No, yes, not. it is. Well, Your opinion is irrelevant. <laughs> she might be able to come get me. Great. If she can come get me, will you go? If you can, no, if she will come get me, will you wait until she comes and gets me and leave me alone? If she's here, you know, 
Yeah. Ray Lynn, I need your help. I got police officers here arresting me. I need you to come right now. Yes, they're trying to remove me from my home. They're ignoring the federal court orders. They're ignoring everything. And they're saying that they, I have no right to be here. I have two police officers. I'm a, I, I put her on speakerphone. You hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Her name is Raylan. Hold on, Raylan. They want to hear you. Hold on. Can you hear me? Hold on, Raylan, can you hear me? I can't hear you, hold on a second. I used the wrong one, hold on. Can you hear me now? Hello? Raylan? Okay. They can, yes, they can hear you. Hi, Raylan. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, my name's Sergeant Okay. I'm Sergeant Mills with the Quebec Sheriff's Office. Can you hear me? Sergeant Mills from the Kennebec County Sheriff's Office. So we, we have we have a court order from the judge. Um, Gina is getting evicted, like immediately, like right now. So she has to she has to gather up some of her stuff, but she needs a ride. Would you be willing to help her with that? I have no place to go, Raylan. She has, um, I can be there, and, um, I'm right now, and I can get that, and I can be there, and I can get 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 there, and that's that's really not up for discussion. It, you know, she she does have to leave um, today. So if you could get down here in the next half hour, that'd be fantastic. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. Yep. Bye bye. Yep. Okay. We want to start. You want to start grabbing some of your stuff that you need. Um, you know, right immediately, right now, you can do that. Obviously, talking to you guys is a useless cause. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. We're well, trying, we're trying to I mean, make this as easy as possible. Okay, can you read this? Okay, let me show you. Brennan versus Gina, 429, 4.55 p.m. Okay, order, vacating order. The order dismissing the case was made in error and is thereby vacated. That means the federal court still has Brennan versus Gina. Does that make sense to you? Not to me, but well, I mean, that's the guy that... Well, see, you guys are lawyers. <laughs> that's from the federal court. Okay? This is an order from the federal court. This is how we do this in the federal court system. Okay? This is how we work law. You want to start grabbing some of your stuff, Gina? I mean, there, this isn't debatable right now. Well, this is legal stuff. Okay. Well, I, I told you that it, we can either do this from, uh, you can leave with your caseworker when she gets here. I'm going to, but you understand, you, you need to understand, that, I understand, I understand, okay, but are you a decent human being? Do you consider yourself yeah. to be a decent human being? Yeah. Okay. Do you understand law? I try, yeah. That's a no then. No, I mean, uh, criminal, you you law, try. criminal law, I don't deal with civil that much. Okay. He's the civil. I've civil worked guy. in law, I've worked with your gentleman in the law system for 30 years. I've been a legal secretary my entire adult life. I've worked with the court system. I used to watch, I used to read your OUI reports. I worked for the OUI division from 2007 to 2008. I read every single OUI report that came through that office. I understand. This has nothing to do with I, OUI. You don't you understand what I'm wasting, saying. You won't even listen. Alan, all time. you care about is doing what you're told to do. Exactly. You don't want to hear exactly. what. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Thank you for the confirmation. And, and that's exactly what That's we're exactly doing. what you're doing. You're doing what you're told to do. You're ignoring federal rules. You're ignoring federal rules no. of procedure. You're ignoring federal my rule, rights. Federal court has no jurisdiction. And I don't know case. why there's another officer it's here. Gina, I will be talking pack at the same time. We can do that. Yep. I'm, I'm willing to listen to you if you want to start packing, all right? Okay. Then my cats Fair are enough. terrified. My cats are terrified right now. I don't Your know where they are. Fine. Well, we'll find them. All right. right. Like I said, we can talk about the, Then the doors need to stay closed because if they get outside, doors I won't find them. going to stay closed. Okay. All right. And you need to leave your hands off me. Do not touch me. You don't Do touch me, touch I'm not going to touch you. Okay, I so have, let's talk I'm very, I'm very peaceful. There are no weapons in this house. Sounds good. Okay. 
There are no violent, no dangerous weapons in this house. I am not violent, so please leave me alone and don't touch me. And don't touch my stuff. And if I can have some privacy to get dressed, where would you like me to go so I can get dressed? Where are you clothes? All over the place. Well, I, I, I need to figure out what I gotta find. I gotta I figure think out what. Just find some clothes right now to put on. Go in the bathroom and put them on. Does that work for you? No, but they don't understand law, and they just told me they don't understand law. So I, I can't expect them to read French when they can only understand English. 
of Well, it looks like the courts are in conspiracy because uh, the federal court just sent me down an order that was totally bogus too. So it looks like a, it looks like the Reconstruction Act needs to uh, take full speed ahead because we've got no law anymore. We've got no justice. It's all of corporations. I'm going to put you on speakerphone. All right, you're on speakerphone, so peace. Raylan's on her way. What well, foil you have up there? It's called insulation. Oh, okay. Because this house is a log cabin, as you can see, mm -hmm. and log cabins don't typically have insulation because it's wood. Yep. Again, you're not going to find any here, anything here that you can charge me with criminally. I was just looking at your sign. Okay. Everything here is lawful. I'm a lawful woman. Who's that? That's the order from the federal court. No, not what's in your hand. Who's talking? That is my verbal notification. Oh, really? Okay. That Sounds good to me. The court has, the federal court has just issued an order. You now print off. Let's see what they said. You're not going to print, start printing off these things. Well, I'm just going to put some paper in because I need to print this off. It's a federal court order. That's nice. And I'm working on getting my computer set up. So I'm getting my computer so I can get out of here. I'm doing what I've been told to do. We're waiting for my case working. We're not in any hurry. I'm still going to gather my clothes. Let's, uh, let's prioritize your list. Um, I am prioritizing. Legal work to keep my home is priority. You're trying to move me out of the home that I bought. That's priority. And since you don't understand law, I won't ask you to read it. Oh, I understand law perfectly well. No, actually you don't, because if you did, you wouldn't be here. Oh, okay. Really, honestly. You said you had PTSD, right? Yes, I certainly do. do you, are, you, uh, are, you any, are you on any medication for it? I told you what I have. Medication? You never told me about medication. No, I'm not on any medications. Okay, I just want to make sure when you leave, you have everything you need to for uh, medication. The only have. thing I have is my, my, my certified cannabis, and I will certainly show you my card. Here, as a matter of fact, I'm hey, you got it right there? I surely do, sir. How's it to me? Why don't you look at that so that you know that I'm leaving and leave my stuff alone. It's your card. Right, last name to check out. Right. Well, here you go. Here. You might want to bring this with you, okay? Oh, I absolutely will. Sounds good. <laughs> See, so I'm in active communication with the federal courts. Nice. Yeah. Might want to learn how to live the law. Please stop helping over me. Really I'll give you a little bit of space. Well, I don't see why you need to be right here, hovering over me. You know? Well, I just need to look at your cards. So that's why I'm standing there. Well, okay. There. You've locked my cards. Can you leave my space? I've got a lot of stuff I need to gather. I've got computer stuff i got to gather. I've got clothes I need to gather. I've got my cats I need to gather. I've got legal paperwork I need to gather. And we're waiting for Ray Lynn, so I don't know why I'm You're not waiting to pack. You're, I'm, wait, you're I'm, waiting I'm, for her, but we're not waiting to pack. I understand that. I am working good. on it, but you guys are making me nervous. I am not able to do what I'm doing because you're hovering over I'm me because you're triggering you. my PTSD. Okay? <laughs> yeah. My PTSD is from abuse and assault. I'm not going to touch guys you. You guys broke into my house. Listen, Gina, I'm not going to touch you. All right? So just. Well, you, you can broke argue all, all you want. It's not going to change the fact of anything. So I got cigarettes I got to gather up. I got everything. If you want me to leave with what I need, then I need to gather what I need. Yeah, I need to have it, but it's actually. That's necessary. right, and you need to stop hovering over me so that you can prevent me from getting what I need. Well, the fact of the matter is, Gene, we're not going to let you go on our site. Period. Okay? The fact of the matter is, you're here illegally. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We are you not. Can that at a later time. Oh right? yeah, you bet we will. Okay. Oh, you okay. bet we will. And I bet this is a result of my lawsuit against Lee Softy and all of them. You all know I'm suing the judges, right? Oh, sure. Oh, I, so why are you I even know. here? Why are you enforcing an order by a judge who's being sued? Yeah, we're not. The yeah, judge you is, are. No, the judges. They're all being sued. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Donald Alexander's name was put on it. Okay. We're not going to. No sense short. to debate it. <laughs> okay. Wow. India. Unbelievable. Right. You know, we've tried to explain. And well, I've stuff. tried to explain to you, and you obviously don't understand law. So I'm just going to waste my breath. And everybody else is the legal system at a later time, but today you need to leave. Mm -hmm. that. And this is the caseworker's card. Sure. Sounds good to me. You want it back, or you no, want me to No, I don't need it. There's nothing else in this house that you'd be interested in. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. I said there's nothing else in this house that you'd be interested in. That's fine. I'm really interested in your house. Mm -hmm. I have my own house, my own things, so. Not after today's incident. Guarantee you that. Sydney. They cashed it. See that? They cashed it. So apparently they stole my money. I'm not the Sydney town office, so okay? I want to make sure that's right. Hey, Alan. What's that? Hey, Alan. Uh, yeah. Town of Sydney cashed my check. All right. Now imagine that shit. So yeah. they stole my money. Is that what happens? So they stole my money, huh? Maybe. Looks like you need to call a case against the town of Sydney, too. I'm going with you. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'll put my phone. It's, you've left it really like, right here on the floor, I think. Andrew, where are you? You left it right in this area somewhere. Did you end up kicking it? Oh, oh freaking out. We'll find it. Andrea. Oh, there it is. Hey. Andrew, you still there? Okay. I'm trying. I'm working. Hello. Yeah. They're county sheriff. Got two county. Got two county sheriff here in my yard. Sheriff, sheriff doesn't know the law. Or doesn't care to know the law. And he's enforcing an order that he knows was issued by a judge who's being sued. Isn't that beautiful for a constitutional justice system? Yeah, the writ of possession was issued on an appeal that wasn't even heard. Writ of possessions are never issued on appeals. They're always issued on a district court case. This one's issued on the appeal, which they obviously don't understand. Huh? What? Yeah, but they don't understand that. They're, they, they just told me they're doing what they're told to do. They said... And, yeah, they have no choice. Yeah, they have, they're required to act illegally. So I have to let them act illegally, remove me from my home. Okay. Um, I gotta put the phone down so I can continue doing what I'm doing so they don't assault me, okay? Okay.
I hope you guys feel macho. Don't feel any different. Yeah. You don't feel anything, do you? No, I feel plenty. I just don't feel any different about being macho. Do you feel good about kicking a 100-pound woman out of her home that she bought That's in right. conspiracy with the judges? You a court order, ma'am. Then, like I said, you don't feel anything. You still there? Okay. I know, they're not touching me. They're, stay, they're keeping their distance, but we're waiting for Ray Lynn. She should be here shortly. Yeah, I know. I'll take it out. I'll take it out in the courts. Alright, let me see. I got my computer. Uh, okay. Uh, 